All right. So I'm just going to give a quick tutorial on how to basically, I guess, break end portal frames. So we have a fully functioning end portal over here. Here's what we do. Now, well, here's what you got to make sure first, the Z coordinate. So the Z coordinate is currently six right now, which and it's positive six, which means positive Z, the redstone block and the TNT go on the south of the piston. So south is over here, facing south. So redstone block goes here and obsidian goes there. Cobblestone, obsidian, destroy this. Destroy that. There's a zombie there. Okay. Now, destroy here too. Now, what you do is you place the TNT there, use the auto clicker, and it's gone. I can fully assure you it's completely gone. Like, I can just fall right through. Nothing. There's literally nothing there. And if you're... And if your, like, portal is on a negative Z axis, or Z, then the... Then it has to go north of the piston, which would have to be here. So place the piston where you want to break it. North. Redstone block here. City in there. Cobblestone temporary. City on top. And then and then TNT there and it's broken like I can show you it's completely broken literally nothing there now why do we need this broken well it just makes duping ten times easier so how will we do that you might ask yeah we'll keep that there Here's what we will do. We will get... Mm. Here's exactly what we will get. So, what we will get is, well, so here we have an exposed and portal frame, not in from expose and portal block now what can you do with this you can do many things with this and here's what we are going to do so you get let's get a llama for example let's just put it put in here what well, that was not intended but whatever so it'll a yeah, big one Whatever. Ugh, they never cooperate, huh? Alright, I'm done with this shit. 
Anyways, so we have a big llama here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a lava bucket. Put it right there. Get a sign. Any sign will work. Put it right there. Stops the flow. I'll put it right there. Now, we're going to tame this llama. If you didn't know, you need carpet. Hopefully we'll tame it soon enough, but whatever. Okay. Let's see. And eh, not much. Okay. Let's say you found a... Uh, let's say you found a piece of jungle log and you want two of them. So you put one in there, and then what you do is you get a splash. You get a poison. Yes, exactly. You get this. You splash it on them. And then you occasionally check if they're at, they have to be at like half a heart left. That's what this is. They have to be at half a heart left. And then... Yeah. Oh yeah. Pro tip, I guess. Make sure to put like a block on top because sometimes, you know, when they get up, the items move up and it can burn the lava. So, this llama is now... <coughs> at 1% health. Here's what we do. Get another bucket, a water bucket. Put them in there. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to kill the dragon. But look. As we see. We have one jungle log, but when we kill this llama, we have two. Right there. I mean, isn't that like epic? Don't you think? Hold up, I'm gonna have to. I'm just going to. All right, cool. Where's the end dragon? There you are. Make sure you have like killed the dragon actually before you do any duping because it just makes like life 10 times easier. I mean, I guess you could like go for it. Maybe like with extra resources, but I will. So, Ender Dragon's dead. Now, the, the, there's many other mobs we could use with this. And I have their spawn eggs in here. Drowned, zombies, donkeys, basically any mob that can pick up items and drops the item upon death. So, like, for example, we are going to get a... Hmm, yeah, let's get... So let's get a zombie in here. Oh, not this. Let's get a zombie in here. You're going to give him a shulker box full of one concrete. And 
That's for there one cobblestone. I'm stupid. So you give him. Did you pick it up? No. Gonna have to pick up any rotten flesh that comes by. See the zombie. Does he pick it up? Nope. Okay. This is this is gonna require a lot of trial and error. It's very like unreliable to use zombies. It's very reason. Uh, oops. Did the Sonic pick it up? No. Okay then. Okay, let's get it around in here then. Okay, none of these zombies are picking it up. Okay, let's get a donkey then. Now, to do the donkey, if I recall correctly, yeah, you're gonna have to break two end portal frames to do the donkey. Because donkeys cannot, like, they literally cannot go in one wide spaces. So you're gonna have to break two. If you wanna know how to do that, I'll just give a quick rundown again. Fairly easy. Right, let's. Let's just do it again. So positive Z coordinate, redstone block is south. So let's, let's break this one then. Let's break this one. So we put the piston on top. South is over here. So we put the redstone block here. Put an obsidian on the other side. Put a filler block or whatever. Put another obsidian here. Go down to, make sure you're, you're at an orientation where if you place a piston, it goes down. If it does not do that, and this will not work. But. So let's try that again. Piston up. Oh, yeah. Piston up. Piston block. It's very unreliable, actually. Like, this is, this this method is very unreliable, but honestly, it... I guess the, it gets the job done, really, sometimes. Yeah, it's south of the piston. I am not doing anything wrong. It's just the reliability of this thing is... Oops. Nice. So... Um... So 
So what we have here Hmm. Does not seem to work. Alright, let's try this side then. So, piston here. City in there. There's some block here. Filler block. City in. Go down. I'm honestly dumbfounded how like it only works with one only one in portal like it only works with the middle one and it's kind of retarded you know but whatever I think I have to change it up a little bit no I don't Okay, well that's two gone. So So basically it's like Should I spell efficiency wrong? I'm a fucking dumbass. Whatever. So what we have is um, we have two broken end portal frames. Now what does this mean? This means we can now use donkeys, which I really, really suggest you do because donkeys are like 10 times better with duping than any other mob just because like the amount of stuff that they can hold is insane. So, we remember, get the sign. We have to put it on both sides. Make the lava blade. Now, if, I mean, if you want, you can make the lava blade as thin as possible. And, like, it, I mean, you, you obviously know how to come up with that. Just extend it, and then, you know, when the lava comes all the way through, it's going to be really thin. You can do that. That's your choice, honestly. But, just for the purpose of this I will keep it I'll keep it very simple I guess <coughs> so here we have a donkey bra so here we have a Okay. We have a donkey. We're gonna tame it. Oh yeah, you need a saddle. Remember, you're going to need an empty hand. Let's 
still haven't earned its trust yet. Okay, so it trusts us. Put a saddle on it, put a chest on it, and then look at what you can hold. All that stuff. So we're gonna do jungle logs and portal frames, leather, and a bucket with two cobblestone. And the shulker box is one cobblestone inside. So. I highly recommend you do 130 splash potions. Okay, and this is what happens. So, oh yeah. Also, another thing, you may want to put a roof on top of this. It's much more convenient than you think. So, stuff went in. Look at that. Our stuff duped. And now, if we. check inside. Right there. Well, I mean, it doesn't like triple your items, but you know. We have we have two end portal frames now. We have five cobblestone, two shulker boxes, two you know, basically. And that's kind of the rundown on it. So I hope you enjoyed that trash. Uh, yeah. And uh. I won't be seeing you later because I'm not going to upload this type of content anymore.